Some local nonprofit groups will be on the receiving end of some valuable grant money thanks to the Saskatchewan Liquor and Gaming Authority. The ministry announced today that approximately $1.5 million is being donated thanks to the SLGA's annual charitable gaming grant program. Among the grants this quarter include more than $35,000 towards groups in Lloydminster and area, as well as more than $59,000 to North Battleford and area. The Lakeland has its new New Year's baby. It's this time around, a couple from St. Paul had a baby girl in the wee hours of 2015. Oh. Brielle Marie Potts came in at 7 pounds 5 ounces at 3.47 a.m. New Year's Day. Proud parents Angela and Ryan were surprised that she waited as she started coming on, on the 30th. Pretty, ex pretty exciting. Everybody in the hospital, because I worked here before, was telling us to hold off till after mid midnight. And then my mom's birthday is on January 1st too, so she, she wanted us to wait. Can you give her another kiss? One more kiss. She will make number four for the Potts family. Their three-year-old boy, Ethan, is excited to have a baby sister to take care of. Do you like having a baby sister? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is she cute? Yeah. <laughs> the bundle of joy was expected between the 26th and the 30th of December, so she came just a little late in time for the special date. It's awesome. <laughs> What was, what was your feeling when you, you know, realized that uh, 3, 3 a.m. was going to be the time she was coming? I was pretty happy just to have it over with. <laughs> well, last year, St. Paul welcomed a baby in the afternoon of New Year's Day. It was his first full year as mayor of Lloydminster. Rob Saunders experienced only highs and lows of the city through his full-time office at City Hall. He sat down with our Annika Notvate to talk about the year that was. Thank you so much for joining us. I know this is your first year fully in the mayor position and what a year it was. We had a lot of exciting things happen in the border city. For one, Hockey Day in Canada, Chris Hadfield visiting, and you guys also moved into the operations center in the city. So can you just uh, talk about some of these highlights and from your perspective, how they went for the city? Yeah, it was a very exciting year this year, uh, 2014, kicking off with Hockey Day in Canada, Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. Uh, brought together thousands of people into the city of Lloydminster and uh, set us on the national stage. And it just showed how strong our volunteer base is in our capability of hosting uh, large-scale events. Definitely. And uh, moving into the operations centre, that, I guess, makes some shifts in the city. And, uh, yeah, how did that go? Yeah, the opening of the operations centre uh, gives us the platform to operate and deliver the service that's expected. Uh, from the city for many years to come. So it amalgamated many operating entities into one uh, facility. It's been a long time coming and uh, we're very proud of that facility. With the annexation proposal, especially to the west, it could possibly be the biggest one that Lloydminster has done in its history. Can you talk about that? Yes, absolutely, Annika. The uh, growth strategy study plan that was done, uh, we commissioned an engineering firm. Uh, it took uh, two years to actually pull it together. Uh, it's very technical data, but it shows that uh, we will double our population over the next 30 years. Uh, if we looked at the last uh, five years, we've had 17% growth. Uh, if you look at the uh, trend each year, uh, we're adding many, many people. Uh, we're close to 1,000 people a year uh, migrating into the city of Lloydminster. And you wear many hats in the border city, and one of those is the bi-provincial working group and dealing with some of the health issues in the city. Can you give us uh, an update on some of the things that went positive for this group over the past year? Yes, of course, uh, everyone heard about the, uh, the study for the health care in the city of Lloydminster, and there's a bi-provincial group that was brought together uh, with health care professionals and community people. And um, the results of the uh, study showed that we needed to come to a better agreement uh, on what type of services need to be delivered in the city. Uh, with the MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, uh, we uh, agreed that there should be a service group as well as a governance group that oversees. And so both the services and the governance are starting off now, uh, which was spawned from that bi-provincial group. And uh, both provinces uh, came together and the health uh, regions, uh, the authorities uh, from both provinces and uh, will continue to work together uh, to make health care better for Lloydminster. 
And all we're trying to do is get fair and equitable health care for our residents and our region in Lloydminster. Well, that was Mayor Rob Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome, Annika. Pleased mm -hmm. to be here. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, 2015 is here and there's lots going on if you're looking for something to do. Heather Clagus has the details in this week's edition of What's Happening. Coming up next Friday, you have a chance to see CCMA award winner Brett Kissel live in Lloydminster. He's going to be on stage at the Vic Juba Community Theatre and he has had hit after hit after hit this year, that's for sure. You've definitely heard him on Lloyd FM, 321 started with a song, great songs like that. Well, you've got a chance to see him live next Friday night and the great part about it, it's a fundraiser for a great cause, the Lloydminster Community Youth Centre. If you want to get your tickets, you can get them online, vicjubatheatre.com. See Next Saturday night, make plans to head out to Vermilion. Bridget Ryan, here's to the ladies who laugh, is going to be live on stage at the theater at Lakeland College in Vermilion. It's part stand-up comedy, part musical. And I guess she's been in over 70 musicals throughout her career, so guaranteed to be a great show and a fun night out for the ladies. We want to kick off the new year by giving you a chance to win some great music. You'll really heat things up if you win a copy of Iggy Azalea's album, Reclassified. It's got the hit song, Fancy, on it. If you want a copy, it's really easy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. We want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for setting us up with the music. People in Lloydminster have always been huge supporters of Telemiracle, so circle this date on your calendar, Saturday, February 7th. That's the annual Lloydminster Kinsman and Kinnett's Telemiracle Steak Night, so hopefully you can head out to that. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Plekis, and that's what's happening.